Hello and welcome back. One of Bootstrap's greatest strengths is making it easy to lay out pages without using tables. And that is where Bootstrap shines because Bootstrap is going to give us a grid system. And so it's going to behave like a table. We are still going to have rows, we are still going to have columns, but it is going to use CSS to lay everything as opposed to using tables. And there's a little bit of a learning curve with the grid system and that's what I want to spend this video about. So let's talk about the bootstrap grid. So like we mentioned, bootstrap layouts are going to work on a grid. Now the grid is going to have 12 columns. 12 is a pretty good number for doing layouts. Because when you stop and think about it, if you want to lay things out in halves, that's not a problem. You can use 6 and 6. If you want to lay things out in thirds, that's not a problem. You can do 4, 4 and 4. And if you want to lay things out in quarters, that's not a problem either. You can just go on and try simply 3, 3, 3 and 3. 12 does wind up working very well for being able to lay out pages. Now another key component of the grid system is the fact that there are basically 4 grids. That you are going to notice that there is one grid for large system, one grid for medium, one for small and one for extra small. Now the, now the reason that I like to think in terms of there being 4 grids is because this allows you to size and target your data based on the screen size because when you stop and think about it, different screen sizes are going to require different layouts. So it allows you to size and target all of those different screen sizes appropriately. On top of that, you're going to notice the different measurements they are on the screen sizes. So 1200 pixels and higher, 992 to 1200, 768 to 991 and then less than 768. Extra small is going to be for phones, small is going to be for tablets, medium for either large tablets or laptops and then finally large for laptops and desktops. Okay, I think the best way to explain how the grid system works is with a little bit of a visual aid here. So you are going to notice that what I have represented here is all of the different screen sizes that we have available to us. And so let's kind of compare and contrast here. So you will notice that on each one of my grids here that I've got 12 columns across. Now let's go ahead and say that on a larger screen that we have decided that we want something to take up four columns. So we want something to take up four columns here. Well, when we go down to a smaller screen, you are going to notice that four columns here. That's not going to wind up being very big. And so if I want this to be more readable, what I want is the ability to do is say add two more. The content that resides in four columns on a larger screen, I want that contain to, content to take not four but six columns in the smaller screen. So that way my text, my image, my buttons, my text box, whatever it is that we are going to be working is going to be that much bigger. So the ability to be able to say all right, well, on a large screen, I only need to take up that much space. But on a smaller device, I want to be able to take up a lot more space. That is extremely powerful. Okay, so how we use the grid system is in the following way. We use column classes. The structure of a column class is call dash grid size dash number of columns. Here the grid size is denoted by LG for larger screen, MD for medium, SM for small and XS for extra small. So let's take a look at an example. We use the CSS class of the bootstrap file call-lg.6 in the given div tag. So that will take up six columns on larger screen that is greater than 1200 pixel. When we look at call MD4, that will take up four columns on a medium size screen. Similarly, call SM6 will take up nine columns on a small screen size. So hopefully this image might be making more sense to you guys now. 
Well, that helps explain how the grid system is going to wind up working. Grid system is the basic building block of bootstrap designing and thus it's of utmost importance to keep your concepts clear. So I hope this video might have helped you in understanding the concepts of bootstrap grids a little bit better. So like this video, subscribe to our channel for upcoming lessons, leave your comments and queries below and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.